honeys, how's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, this is a new series that I'm starting. And you all can help me. Okay, this is a series of sayings that I heard while I was growing up. Mostly from my elders. My grandparents, mama, daddy, grandparents. They used to say this stuff. And as a child, I didn't know what they were talking about. They were talking over my head, okay? So, because kids ain't supposed to hear everything and know everything. Stay out of grown folk business. But anyway, the first one is keep talking. Y'all know what that means? That means you better shut up and shut up fast. <laughs> when your mama say keep talking, you better shut up. You better not keep talking. As you'll be picking up teeth. For real, for real. Okay, another one is keep living. What goes around comes around. Okay, keep living. Uh, you may not be going through this now, but keep living. Another one, you're going to bed with the chickens. That means you're going to bed super early. Super, super early. Another one is you sawing logs. I mean, you're in there snoring your head off. And then you wake up and people tell you you're snoring. I don't snore. Yeah, you sawing logs. Knee high to a duck. That means you're short. Back in the day means exactly what it says. Back in the day when such and such happened. It happened a while ago. Okay. You don't believe fat meat is greasy. That means people tell you stuff and you don't believe nothing. You don't believe fat meat is greasy. You're old enough to know better. That speaks for itself. Okay. But common sense ain't so common. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Okay. Don't put your money on something that ain't a sure thing. If it ain't happened yet, it ain't happened. So don't be going around telling folks, yeah, I got this, I got this. This gonna happen, that's gonna happen. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Because what if it don't happen? Then you're out here looking stupid because you're running your mouth. Just don't do it. And don't think that something's going to happen. You go spend all your money thinking something's going to happen. You're going to get an investment here. And if it don't happen, you can spend your money. No, don't do that. A stitch in time saves nine. Okay, if you got a little bitty rip in your sleeve and you saw it, or if you got a button that's dangling by a couple threads, you know it. And then you keep on wearing the clothes, washing the clothes, wearing the clothes. And then that stitch in that seam, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Or the button falls off and you lose the button. Because you didn't fix it right then. When you see stuff and it needs your attention, fix it right then. Don't just keep waiting, saying, I'll fix it later. Or you just keep ignoring it and putting it off. Fix it. A stitch in time saves nine, because it can save you a lot of trouble later on. Okay? Pretty is as pretty does. Okay. You can see the most, most beautiful person in the world. But if they got a stank attitude, they're not pretty at all. That's not cute. Got a stank attitude that makes them ugly. So, I hear Walter in there mumbling. He's in the kitchen mumbling under his breath. That ain't cute. <laughs> okay. Still waters run deep. Okay, somebody can be off in their own little world thinking about stuff. You don't know what they're thinking about. 
still waters run deep. They being still and they just contemplating on something. And you don't know what it is, but they know. So just cause people ain't spouting off at the mouth all the time, they're thinking about stuff. And what they're thinking about has value. If they ever talk about it. So little pictures have big ears. Okay, I used to hear that a lot as a child. Folks be talking. We be in the next the kids be in the next room, we still hear talking. And then somebody will suddenly say, Little pictures have big ears. They may notice that somebody is paying attention to what the grown folks are talking about in the next room. So that means stop talking about that particular subject. Because the little pictures, that's the kids in the next room or folks who ain't supposed to be hearing what you're talking about. They, they listening. So be quiet for now. Put a hold on it because they're taking it all in. You have to watch what you say around folks, not just kids, but folks. Okay, so that was my 15 sayings that I hear and have grown up hearing my elders say. So I hope you enjoyed this little short video and put in the comment section stuff you have heard. Then I can add them to my next video on this in the series. It's going to be a series because we've all grown up hearing stuff. Some of them are uh, crazy. <laughs> I can throw some crazy ones in there in the next the next time. Well, I throw one in right now. Kiss your elbow. If I kiss my elbow, I'll turn into a boy. And I'll be trying to kiss my elbow. I mean, I want to be a boy, but I figured if I can kiss my elbow the first time and turn to a boy, I can kiss it again and turn back into a girl crazy stuff. I grew up hearing it. So, leave your comments below. Leave your crazy sayings below. Or stuff you heard your elders saying. So, give me a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed rest of the day. Okay. Bye.